Good afternoon, everyone. One week of the first month of the year, 2023, passed up, and we have stepped into the second week. I wish you all a happy beginning of the new week. You all agree with me, as I say, the days are flying with supersonic speed. I wish you all a wonderful and promising happy new year. 2023. I thank you all for being with me through my journey on the scriptures and on understanding who Jesus Christ is. Today, I welcome you all to this Bible study. As Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. It's a concept of spiritual complexity. May the Holy Spirit enlighten our minds in understanding. The resurrection of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of the dead. For that, let me focus on the actual happenings at the time of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what are the proofs, how fascinating experience it would have been for the disciples when they literally saw Jesus resurrected from the dead. Jesus appeared as a full person, full of life, and assured his disciples, his believers, that resurrection is the truth. As he spoke, I am the resurrection and the life. Let us go to the go back to that scene when Simon Peter and the other disciple had a interaction, interactive experience at the grave where Jesus was buried. It was Sunday morning, early in the morning. First, Mary Magdalene was at the tomb. This, I'm ex focusing on John chapter 20. It's a factually, factual happening. How Jesus resurrected. John chapter 20, if we meditate verses from 1 to 10. Mary Magdalene was at the tomb and she saw the stone rolled away from the entrance of the tomb. She saw the stone rolled away at the entrance of the tomb. She ran to Peter and the other disciple the one whom Jesus loved. And what was her anxiety? What was she anxious about? She exclaimed, They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. She was worried about the physical body, the dead body, of Jesus Christ in the tomb. Then Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb. The other disciple outran 
Peter and reached the town first. He stooped and looked inside. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter arrived. He went inside. He also noticed the linen wrappings lying there. The cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up, nicely folded up and lying apart from the apart from the other linen wrappings. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and believed. Let us question ourselves. How do we believe Jesus? Jesus speaks to us that the word of God in the scriptures testify such that we can believe in Jesus Christ. My little granddaughter, uh, nine years old, she says, I want to see God. But divine enthusiasm it is. It's a pure enthusiasm. But the scriptures and the actions, the works that Jesus does in our lives, they make us believe that Jesus is Son of God. The other disciple whom Jesus loved fondly when he entered into the tomb and saw the linen wrappings and the cloth that wrapped around the head of Jesus lying folded apart from the other wrappings. He too saw that. He saw and believed. So now our faith we see we see, we read, we hear, we understand, we comprehend the word of God and we believe. We experience the works of Jesus, the works of God, who Jesus does, which Jesus does in our lives. By these works, we see these works and we believe him. What a wonderful, simple statement it is. He saw and believed that Jesus rose. He was not there in the, in the tomb. For until then, they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said, Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. They saw Peter, Simon Peter saw and believed the other disciple whom Jesus loved, he saw and believed. We experience the works of God which are done through his son, Jesus, in our lives. We believe Jesus. And we believe in resurrection. The scripture, the scriptures which are written, such that we may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, Jesus is the Son of God, and by believing in him, you will have life by the power of his name. Scriptures say that we will have life by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. The purpose of miracles, what is the purpose of miracles throughout the four Gospels? Jesus performed many miracles and today we experience as well the, the miracles happening in our lives. What is the purpose of the miracles? To make people to believe that Jesus is Christ. We have seen in the wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee where Jesus turned water in the six stone water jars, each holding 20 to 30 gallons into fresh, undiluted 
unadulterated fresh wine. Jesus revealed his glory and his, believe, his disciples believed him. The miracles make us to believe that Jesus is Christ. Many of the miraculous signs Jesus did in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration and people began to believe him. Miracles do make us to believe that Jesus is Christ. When Jesus said to the official, your son will live, your son will live. His son was healed at the self-same hour. John 10, 37 verses, Don't believe me unless I carry out my father's work. But if I do his work, when I do, if I do my father's work, the works of God, believe in the evidence of the miraculous works I have done. Then you will know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Jesus spoke to Lazarus, the brother of Mar Mary. He was also buried in the tomb, he was dead for four days. With one command, Lazarus come out. And he came, he brought him back to life. He, hence we believe, Jesus is life and Jesus Christ is the resurrection. As he says in the scriptures, I am the resurrection, I am the life. Let's pray. Heavenly loving Father, we come to thy feet this noontime as we meditate upon your promise, as we focus upon thy word in the scriptures, I am the resurrection and I am the life. You are the resurrection. You are life, Father. Thank you, God. Your miracles, the miracles you perform in our lives make us to believe that you are Christ. The miracles and the scriptures, your word in the scriptures make us to believe in the resurrection. We believe in salvation in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we believe in the eternal life that we shall rejoice in thy presence in our resurrected bodies. In Jesus' precious name we ask. Amen. Amen. Thanks for being with me. Bye-bye for now.